This video is sponsored by OWC. Yesterday, Apple announced new updates to its software, including the latest version of iOS, which is iOS 14. And so in this video, we're gonna go over all of the big new features in iOS 14. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications whenever we share a video. The first thing you'll notice is the new redesigned home screen that now features widgets on the home screen itself and a new feature called App Library. The Today view that usually hosts Apple's widgets in previous versions of iOS remains relatively the same, but you can now drag and drop those widgets out of the Today view and onto your home screen. You can also just long press anywhere on the home screen and then tap the plus icon in the top left corner to add widgets of various sizes. You can also stack up to 10 different widgets on top of each other and swipe through them to change them out. And there's a new widget called Smart Stack, which will adjust what widget is displayed based on your usage throughout the day. If you tap on the page indicator at the bottom of the screen, you can now check or uncheck how many pages of apps you want showing on your home screens. So for me, I decided to have a clean one page setup of apps and widgets. Where are the rest of my apps you might ask? Well, that's where the new app library feature comes into play. To access your app library, just swipe to the right and you'll see all of your apps grouped by various categories like productivity, social, and even auto updating categories like suggestions and recently added applications. All of your most used apps for each category will remain at the top level for quick access. You can also tap the search bar to manually seek out an app, or you can scroll through the list view of all your applications. Siri has also been redesigned with a new compact UI that is less intrusive when asking questions. And for the most part, some answers can even be sent in a less intrusive manner. So for example, if you ask for an upcoming weather or calendar information, you'll see a notification card come in at the top of your screen rather than it just taking up the entire screen and just kind of disappearing all of the information that you were looking at into the background. Siri has been updated to answer a broader set of questions using information across the web instead of just telling you to go find that information yourself and giving you a few suggested links. You can also ask Siri to send audio messages to friends, ask her to share your ETA when navigating with Apple Maps, and can even ask for cycling directions. Speaking of maps and cycling, a new cycling feature has been added to Apple Maps, which now gives you routes that are friendly for cyclists, which will include bike paths, lanes, and bike-friendly roads. You can see the elevation and incline levels for each trip, and whether or not you'll need to bring your bike up and down some stairs, or you'll have the option to avoid stairs altogether. Apple Maps also has electric vehicle routing to give users an accurate route that accounts for charging stops and adds that time into your ETA as well. Guides is also a feature that's added that takes help of different brands and partners to help users discover great places to eat, shop, and explore new cities around the world. You can save a guide to Maps and they'll be automatically updated over time to add new places and recommendations for those cities. The weather app got a quick update that now provides info on severe weather events, as well as upcoming shifts in weather. In the US, there's also a chart with a minute by minute forecast of precipitation intensity, which appears to take advantage of functionality in Dark Sky, an app that Apple recently purchased. Messages received a few new features like the ability to pin conversations to the top of the messages app by simply swiping from left to right. The conversation is then placed at the top with that person or group's profile picture, and recent notifications from that conversation are also displayed at the top next to their profile picture too. Speaking of group chats, there's now support for inline replies, which allows you to reply to a specific message in a group chat, and you can view those replies in the full conversation or as its own thread for a more focused view. This isn't just limited to group chats. You can also do this inside of a one-on-one -on -one conversation, but it's probably more useful inside of a large group chat. You can also mention someone in a group by simply typing their name, and this will send that person a notification saying that they have been mentioned. So if a group chat has become a bit wild and you're getting constant notifications, you can go ahead and mute that conversation, but you'll still get notifications that directly mention you so you don't miss anything important. There are new Memoji stickers and styles that cover various ages, different hair and headwear, and even offers up face masks for your Memoji. 
Perhaps the most important feature that didn't get talked about a lot is the ability to finally search for emojis in a chat. This is huge because I cannot stand scrolling through the never ending list to find what emoji that I need. And so now you can just simply search for it. Translate is a new application in iOS 14 that allows you to easily say something in English and have it translated into another language or vice versa. You can even flip your iPhone over to landscape mode for what it's called conversation mode to speak with someone with translation assistance, but in a more natural way. Best part is the app can be completely used offline and everything can remain private if you want. Another feature that's relatively major is that Apple announced car keys, which I wasn't able to go hands on with, but it's worth mentioning as it will soon allow users to unlock, lock or start compatible vehicles with their iPhones, basically acting as the car key. Users can even share keys with full or limited access with friends and family members via the Messages app and will soon be available in more cars starting next year, but right now is made available for BMW. Apple said it will even activate this feature in an update to iOS 13 so that users can take advantage of this feature early before iOS 14 is released in the fall. And finally, Apple technically mentioned this during the iPadOS part of the keynote yesterday, but we think it's a pretty big feature for iOS as well. And that's the new incoming call notification that finally doesn't take up your entire screen when using the iPhone. Instead, you'll get a notification card at the top and you can either tap to answer or swipe away to reject the call entirely. There are tons of new features that were mentioned very briefly by Apple at the keynote or weren't mentioned at all, but are on its own website and a lot of hidden features that we will uncover over time. So be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss videos on all of the hidden features and tips and tricks that you can see in iOS 14 and we'll do one very, very soon. But before we end today's video, I do want to give you more information about today's sponsor, OWC. OWC offers a wide range of products for your Mac, like internal hard drives and SSDs, memory, Thunderbolt 3 docks, and much more. OWC also started doubling storage capacities of some of its more popular products, such as the Aura P12 SSDs, the award-winning Envoy Pro EX Thunderbolt 3 and Envoy Pro EX USB-C external drives, which can now rack up to four terabytes of storage space, and the new Excelsior 4M2 PCIe SSD, which can deliver crazy speeds of 6,000 megabits per second, and now comes in a giant 16 terabyte capacity. Even the Thunderblade drive has also been updated to 16 terabytes, which is just crazy to think about. So for more information about these drives or any other product that OWC has to offer, go ahead and click the link in the description down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you around in the next video.